Alright, so um, if I could please invite Daisy to come up to receive this award on behalf of Zeus. Um, okay, let's do Daisy around the floor. Thank you very much, Daisy, for just presenting this award on behalf of the Leagues. So thank you very much for that kind of blessing. Oh, if anyone here, give her a round of applause, please. Give her a round of applause. And ladies and gentlemen, this year, uh, we've decided to give a certificate to all the ladies that have taken part from 1 to 12. Can you please give them all a massive round of applause? Thank you. Uh, now, we're waiting for the top five from our amazing judges. Um, it's, it's been that difficult, so. Uh, wow, 12 beautiful ladies. <laughs> ladies, I know, I know, I know, I know it's probably not gonna count because the scores are ready now, but I just, if you could just one at a time, go to the blue mark and then come back again so everyone can really appreciate you, one at a time. Contestant number one. Uh, on sports day or throughout the whole competition, 
uh, the ladies have been voting for themselves. So we have Miss Personality, which will be uh, given by Natalie Rurkel. Can we give Natalie a massive round of applause, please? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Donna UK 2018, your Miss Personality is...
for top five is contestant number 11. Contestant number three, Mariska. So it doesn't mean that they are less any queens because they're still queens. Can you give all the ladies a massive round of applause? For you? Thank you. So, starting with contestant number 11. Can I have you here, please? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Akia. I would like to know, by the way, this section, I have to just ask them some random questions and stuff to see how, how quickly they can think on their feet. So, uh, Kia, I asked this question actually on radio uh, this week, and, uh, and that question is, uh, in the Bible, uh, oh, chill now, relax. <laughs> if I'll leave, I'll leave, I'll leave, I'll leave, I'll leave. Okay, I want to know why you should be crowned Miss Ghana UK 2018. Do you believe you should be crowned Miss Ghana UK 2018? Thank you, Andy. Firstly, once again, I'd like to thank everyone for making time out to come and spend time with us tonight. I should be crowned as your Miss Ghana UK 2018 because I've started the work already and I aim to continue. There's so, so many lives that need to be touched. And with my cause and my vision, it touches, it goes beyond careers and personal development. Careers can lead to mental health, it can determine how a young person lives, and of course how they succeed in life. With my work, like I said before, I've already started. And with this crown, I'm able to reach more people in order to touch more lives and inspire a younger generation. 
the guardians in this community, in this country, need to know, understand, and believe that they need to represent in the right light. And this is why Aisha Khan is your Miss Guardian King 2018. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number 11, let's give her a round of applause, please. Contestant number 10, Shelly Lee. So Sherry, I would like to know why you should be crowned Miss Ghana UK 2018. Do, do you think you should be crowned Miss Ghana UK 2018? Oh, please tell us why. Thank you. Once again, good evening, Your Excellency, Nana No, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, family and friends. I believe that I should be crowned Your Miss Ghana UK because I am proud to be from Ghana and I'm deeply passionate about mental health. I would like to make a change within our communities, especially within the youth and our black communities, and use my talent in the arts and nursing to be able to do that. Thank you very much. But vote for me, share it, go to her. Thank you very much, Sherry. Thank you. Contestant number nine, Loretta. Um, I want to know, how, how are you feeling right now? Are, are you nervous? So sad. Alright, um, now I understand everyone takes part in this competition because they believe they are the chosen one. Do you believe they're the chosen one? Yes. Alright, so... I want you to tell us and the judges why you should be crowned Miss Ghana UK 2018. Thank you. Good evening, Your Excellency, Nana Nong, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I believe I should be crowned Your Miss Ghana UK 2018 because I am a living testimony of someone who has gone through depression to the point where I changed my complexion. Yes. And I have encouraging people around me. However, when you look at social media these days, dark skin girls are not celebrated. And I feel like I want to make a change in the community, whether big or small. I just feel like I should be proud to always go on the UK to as a Thank you very much. Uh, contestant number seven, Mona Lisa. Okay, and how are you feeling today? Did you did you believe that you'd be top five? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. They did me. Yes. All right, on Lisa, I want to know, and everybody else would like to know why you should be crowned Miss Ghana UK 2018. Good evening, Your Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, family and friends. I do not see the crown as means of validating my God-given beauty and brains, but more a self-affirmation of my God-given capabilities to fulfill my duty, that is, to teach others how to spread the word of God. I want to do this with a platform that I've never been given before. This platform elevates me and allows me to speak on behalf of everybody else who is in the Ghanaian and Christian community to educate others, to teach others how to be credited as society through living, the living testament of Christ. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mother Lisa. And finally, not the least, contestant number four, Shavon. Thank you. Good evening, Shavon. How are you? All right. Um, how are you feeling right now? Yeah, all the nerves are a bit gone now. Gone, all right, okay. So now we're top five, and unfortunately, or fortunately, the judges has to give a crown to one of you. And I'm sure you believe that's, that, that should be you, right? We want to know why you should be crowned as Ghana UK 2018. Good evening, Your Excellency. Nana No, distinguished guests, family and friends. I'm not just here for physical appearance. 
I'm here gonna have genuine love for my Ghanaian youth. I hope with your help I can use my talent to make a difference in the children's lives as their education and health. Thank you, Ms. Ghana, for giving me this opportunity. Because, because I want to, I'm going to show the love I have for my Ghanaian youth using my talent. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, okay, so now I'm gonna invite um, our two lovely hosts to join me as we announce the top three. Please make some noise for Ifiado. Make some noise, please, for Drew, Miss Drew. Let's give her a round of applause, please. I'm good, I'm good. Yes, a bit nerve-wracking, my lord. Can we give a top five a massive round of applause, please? Come on. Are you guys enjoying yourself? Make some noise if you think contestant 11 deserves the crown.
um, in order to kind of, you know, kill some time. It's okay. Look, it's not. It's not me. And yeah, me. It's not me. The judges are obviously having a very tough time. Deciding. It's not easy. You can't just say one, two, three, and it's finished. They've heard the ladies speak in the last round, and now the judges have come together and they have selected a top three. So please bear with us while we put the list together. In, in that time, if you are pleased, you're also going to model for us as well, yeah? Yeah, that's what Drew, Drew said. If you are, you're going to model for us. And then he's going to do it, baby.